Hello everyone and welcome to this video about axial flux machines. We use both of them axial flux generators and axial flux motors. In this video we will talk about importing a geometry from SolidWorks. One of my friends asked me about how to do this project and assign material and excitation to the objects that are imported from SOLIDWORKS. Let's do it together from the beginning. I will close this simulation file and start over from the beginning. When we have a project, we can open a Maxwell 3D simulation and then in the modeler menu, we have to click on import and select the file for example here we have a step file from the machine when it is imported we can see the geometry that were in the solid work file first of all pay attention to this fact that if we import the whole geometry from the solid works we will have problems like this for example I want to select the coils one by one and it's possible but because the magnets are attached to the back iron it's impossible to select this magnet and magnetize it and select the other magnet and choose the magnetization direction so i have to separate them from each other i will select these coils we know that they are copper so i will select them all and assign the material to them from the list we will search the copper here and choose the copper from the system materials and the other thing that we have to pay attention is all of these objects should be modeled and solved inside otherwise the Maxwell will not solve the equations in them so the material of the coils are defined the problem here is that the magnets are attached to the back iron. We have to separate them. So first of all, I will hide all the coils. And the important part is we have to separate these magnets. We can draw them again or we can measure the, z the position of these magnets from the measure menu. The Z distance are 23. So let's do something together. First of all, I will copy and paste this whole geometry because we need both of them. Let's edit, copy and paste this stator. I have a course on Udemy that you can visit and it's about how to draw this geometry but when we have to import this geometry we have to make it correct i will select the cylinder and start from 0 0 and 23 the radius should be higher than the stator and upper radius is not important I just want to draw a cylinder over this. I will make it wireframe to be able to see if we want to intersect this cylinder and separate the magnets. I will select this cylinder and this magnets and back iron and I will click on intersect. So you can see we easily separated the magnets from the geometry, but still we have two geometries, the magnet and 
backfiring together and just magnets. So I will select first the whole geometry and then the magnets and subtract them but I will click on clone tool object before operation and by clicking on that we will have a whole back iron and magnets separately okay we have to select material for this back iron i will click it click on it and select for example a steel on the line 10 10 for the back iron and still we have to separate this mag i will hide it still we need to separate these magnets from each other because we want to assign different magnetization vector to them first uncheck the display wireframe to see all the magnets then click on all of them and go to edit boolean separate bodies now we can select each magnet we can select each magnet and let's choose different material and magnetization and even different colors for them for example this color should be red go to the material and the fe material i will select this one and the fe 35 let's clone it to be able to change it 35 n and then change the magnetization to the z direction it's z direction and let's choose other magnets and assign different magnetization to it NDFE here is the magnets that I defined clone the material this one is the cells fold so I will choose minus one for this Z component of the vector of magnetization now we have two different type of magnets with different material magnetization and either different colors don't forget to assign excitation to these coils I elaborated how to draw these geometries and how to excite the coils magnets and materials from for an axial flux machine in my Udemy course but don't forget to create a region for this geometry and assign excitation currents and assign force and bend to this machine we know that the coils needs the back needs a back iron too so in this way our simulation will be okay and you understood how to separate the bodies from the initial imported geometry from the solid works have a good day thank you for watching this video and don't forget to hit on the like button and subscribe thank you all